One of the things I miss about Maya is having Blin and Lambert materials in the viewport, but as you can see, you can achieve quite a similar result inside of Blender while in solid view. So here's how you do it. So let's start from scratch. Right now I'm in Eevee with some principal BSDF that I've assigned to this object, as you can see. We're gonna switch to solid view, and we're not gonna use a matte cap, even though that seems to be the ideal case. Problem is that we can't assign individual pieces different matte caps of different colors, or we can sort of modify the colors, but it's not gonna look quite right. So instead, we're gonna go to our studio lighting and just stick to the default for now. And again, remember to assign materials to the different components. If I go into edit mode and I select primary, for example, you can see that I can still select this piece, this piece, so I did assign my materials normally. However, we're not gonna mess around with the principal BSDF because this is not affected at all when you're in solid view. It does affect EV, it does affect cycles, of course, but in solid view, we need to do something else. So let's undo this and collapse this menu because we don't need it anymore and go all the way down here where it says viewport display. So these three properties are the ones that we're gonna be adjusting. So just pick your color right here. Do you want it to be metallic or not? I'm gonna leave it, this to be something kind of bright. And this is the one that I want to darken. If I could only click on it. And then just mess around with your roughness, of course. So this looks a lot closer to you, what you would get in Maya when you're using a blend, for example. This is gonna be metallic. We can pick a nice color. So these are some of the arbitrary values I picked. But as you can see, it still doesn't look very good. So the next step is to maybe change our studio light. And Blender includes one that's called Basic. And if we click on that, it looks way better than it did before. However, if you have the Armor Toolkit, I included a studio light that attempts to mimic what you get in Maya. So this one looks a little bit more like this. And this is relatively close to the same look you would get inside of Maya. But is there some tangible benefit to doing this? Of course, you now have two sets of materials. So you have your realistic materials, which look quite nice, but are obviously not suited for modeling. You can't even see what's going on. Even in Eevee, it's a little bit hard to see, but you now have this in solid view. So you still have some semblance of material separation and readability, even when you're modeling. Instead of having something that just looks like this and you don't really know which material is assigned to what. In other words, your project can still look pretty cool even though you're in solid view.